Right then, peeps, welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. Now, I came on to make, uh, I think it was episode 10 or something of the series, and there's been an update, and I didn't know, because it was before September the 3rd or something, last time I'd done a, an episode for you. Um, so we've now had the Platinum patch. It's the Platinum update. Um, it's the biggest update they've done, in their words. And obviously, the save file doesn't work anymore. Um, so if there's any more updates, please, please, if any developers ever see this, can we save the save files? Um, I do love this game. Um, there's been huge, huge updates. Um, we're going to talk about them as we go through, but I'll put up all in the description as many as I can. And they're all on Steam, guys, if you play the game yourself. So we're going to play It's a Tough Road to Walk, Never Unfair. Um, I want two peeps. I want a scavenger. And... Yeah, you'll... Do and a fighter. Uh, 20 damage, 20 damage. We can. Yeah, you'll do. There you go. And we'll have this flag. And we'll call it one and one name will be uh, the Dadlands. Wallop. And uh, unity equals strength. Nah. And it's random. Under the shade we flourish, rebuild and prosper. That's us. Boom. So, now at the beginning of the game, it's there's three parts of the game. There's the early, the mid, and the late now is what they're saying. And at the start, you just need kind of wooden plastic, so that's all that'll be out there. To get metal, you need to research the ability to scavenge for metal. Um, there is some buildings being took away, I think. Um, but again, we'll talk about it as we find them in the game. So I am looking forward to it. Uh, like I say, the, the, the Platinum has been the biggest update in their words. It is like pages and pages of updates. So it's been game balances and all sorts. But here we go. I'm excited. Right. Let us set up, first and foremost, our campsite. We'll put it roughly on line with the road. Uh, we'll have the road going. Yeah, let's come in one. Boom, campsite down. It's full speed ahead. Once we get the campsite down, we do get some free buildings, if you remember from the last time. So we'll get a couple of tents. Same again, we'll just have it on the road. Um, up to... Is that roughly level with that? Yeah, I think it is. So we'll get our two free tents down. What else we got? Uh, we've got a stockpile and a food storage. Right, before I build anything else, I just want to check. Does it show you fertility yet? Yeah, so it's kind of fertile across the right. It doesn't move now when I press my AWSD buttons. It doesn't move left or right under this. You've got to kind of unclick it. But it looks more towards that side for farming and things like that. Um, initially, anyway. So we'll put stockpiles down. We want the houses and the burner kind of around this area. And I did say it was more to the right. Is there any kind of red areas? Any red areas? Now we've got water across there, so we're going to be using that. Probably set up somewhere up here. So, food storage. Let's go a bit higher. And put it online. So, food storage. And a stockpile. So we use the stockpiles to kind of gather things from out in the in the map. And we get a free water collector. And some water. Make sure it's efficient. It's the wrong way around. Was it the wrong way around? Oh, there we go. 100%. Great ears. We'll have that. And I think that's all we've got. So once they build them, we can then set off the flare to tell the peeps that they're safe to come and join us. The survivors that's out there after the apocalypse. Right, boom. Shoot the flare. Right, let's go. The peeps will come in. Here we go. Now, what do we need? Uh, housing. People are short of housing already. So let's get us some more tents down. Um, that's berries. Gonna shove one here. And I'm gonna shove one on the back of here. Just for now. 
and we'll ask for our collectors so food we'll ask them to get the berries from this area to start with because it'll clean it out for us to build in and the stockpile we'll ask them to collect in this area for the same reason so there's only wooden plastic on the map at the minute right we're waiting for the water collector to go down we'll also need a what water storage I think he's... Is he roughly online there? Yeah. Uh, let us put a road down. Didn't want it there, but... We'll fetch it across to... Where? I think there. Happy days. And then we should have another road coming up here for these guys. But as far as we can, there you do. That'll do us. That'll give us a couple of markers. And uh, we'll just make this one just for prettiness. The middle there as well. There you go. So a big road in the middle. And then we'll have single roads coming off it. So we've got water coming in. <clears throat> we now need food. So the basics of any kind of survival game. Food, water, shelter. And we also need to get the gate built to open up the world map. So let's get on with it. We need what? A fishing would be good because we've got water. Food, fishing pier. We've already got a road going out to these guys. Uh, 0% efficiency. Not work there. No efficiency. Why you not like it? Oh, there we go, 79, 83. 83. Yes, is it? None. 98. Boom, we'll have it. And the same again, just for my own kind of benefit, we'll put a, a road in. Well, it'll let us. How far will it let us go? Not very far at all. Like it across there. Spin that round a sec. Okay. Back up to there. There we go. So we've basically got them walking <clears throat> walking around. Should be a tiny bit more efficient. Now, efficient pier is going to go down. That'll give us a little bit of food. Water's going to go down um, to give us some water. These guys are working. So we're only on plus two water. Could have a well. We're positive at the minute, but I will put a well in. It needs to be in kind of a green area. Yeah, 100%. 100%. That'll do. And this is where our water is. So, that'll do us. Right, we can only get wooden plastic. So, we'll do that as well. Let's get them done. Um, a recycler. I'm going to try and keep things across to the right a wee bitty. Let's just make it so it's one back. Because these will move eventually, I'm sure. Um, that would turn them into kind of underground stuff. A lumber yard would be cool. Do we need a lumber yard? We'd go and cut down trees and turn into wood. Yeah. So there you go. That's everything we need to kind of provide us with wood and plastic. But. He says. Till we get the plastic. It'll stop us building, won't it? Okay, we've got wood. A move work area. Now you can go into there. There's some wood, cool. And plastic boys, there we go. 
boys and girls uh, they can collect that area so that's it that's all we can have is wood and plastic Um, I have got the peeps at the minute, so I'm going to put another one in fishing. And then what? Then what? Thinking, I'm thinking we should. We haven't got any plastic. I think we should have a second plastic. Born and raised. So we'll keep nine the milestones as well. Uh, basically means we've had a child. Happy are the days. Right. We are going to need some toilets. Now, I'm just going to keep them out of the way. Down here. We'll put four in. And then we will need a medical tent. And what else? A burial pit at some point. But after the guys have worked on the on the basics and we've got a little bit of stuff coming in, we need another guy in Lumber Lake. Could desperately have another uh, another plastics guy. We'll use up all our resources. Did the guys get the air? Uh, no, they're still working on the well. Still working on the well. Let's just check our... Oh, yeah, we've got some wood coming in now. Okay, so that's took all that up. And see the message for that. If you press your left control wheel, you can make it bigger or smaller. But we'll cover all them four areas for wood and still getting berries. Okay, water's down, but we're waiting for a well. Once we get the basics done, we'll get the gear done so we can send out our scavenger. And again, the back of my head is a medical tent in case any of the guys are poor. So, oh, there, see what I mean? Infected already, man. Um, so, I need that medical tent. And I'll keep going across to the right for now until I can sort out what we're going to do about farming and bits like that. Right, the well's up and we're positive for water. So, again, I do need at some point extra storage for water. got wood coming in we can set limits i think we might do that this time so the lumber yard will say i don't know 300 and then we'll, we'll get them to stop after they get the 300 right unhappiness is what who are shelters so again i've got no um signs points or anything oh what's this have we got fiber yeah, one of the colonists approaches looking more than a little nervous. She might be able to provide some clothing for the colony. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I'll let you read that. Basically, she just she was just a crap tailor. Yeah, so Zachary Diamond infection, <clears throat> not good. I don't want people to be dying early doors. We're trying to get them some toilets. We're trying to get a medical tent for them. And now I've got a person lying around. I also need a burial pit. And I haven't got the peeps for that either. The wood's depleted from my stockpile. But is that... It's just one of them, surely. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get my specialist for now. Scavenger. To pick that up. At least he's doing something. And fighter boy Fritz... I don't know what he's doing, but he can go over there and collect. In fact, he can go and kill a mouse. There you go. Bit of meat. And he can collect that. Might as well use them while we're waiting. <clears throat> right, what else are we waiting for? Outhouses. 
The well's now up, waiting for the medical centre. New plastic was going to be a problem, like. But we have got people running around. I'm going to put an extra person in the plastic, because that hasn't got a limit on it. Bollocks, I'm going to need a burial. And again, I'm going to put it over here next to the... Uh, I'm going to go right with it. There you go. Uh, they create pollution, so we don't really want them close to us. Someone's been stealing planks. Someone seems to have been stealing wood from the storage. A few colonists go and investigate. Kids have built a tree for. No, I'll leave the fort alone. There you go, 20 happiness. In our post-apocalyptic world. Come on, guys, build for us. I've only got two bloody people. I'm wood depleted, but again, I'm sure he's still picking up ears. Um, I want to build... Do I want to build that next? No, we've got one toilet area down here. That's working. Recent deaths too. Slept on the ground. Why are they sleeping on the ground? Is that just because it's a tent? So that's the style that they're sleeping on the ground? I think it may be. Burial pit's going to take up someone to work on it as well. Still plenty of wood coming in, so they shouldn't be working in there at the minute. Still waiting for plastics. Medical tents going up. I'll let these two build. That and the burial. And that should be all the happiness we can take care of for now. And then we'll need to drop onto this. Um... Yet Jesus wept. Okay. Deep breath. Just everything needs repairing. Right, we're going to go down to zero carriers once this is done. Um, I'm going to use the boys again. So, I'll get my fighter to... I want him to, want him to do that. I want him to help build. Uh, scavenger boy, you can... You can collect wood from there. Just helps him up and stops these using it. Um, stops them kicking into action. Okay, how are they doing? Right, they only need a couple of more parts, and then we're going to ask them to build a gate so that we're going to open the world map. Then I must drop somebody out of somewhere. Okay, so they've run out. Move work area. Um, there's a wood area there for you. There you go. Right, burial pit's nearly done. It's going to get rid of my carriers. Now. There isn't anybody in that tent for now. We are going to build a gate. I think that is pretty much our basics covered. After we get the gate done, <clears throat> I do want to put down extra storage because the water is really in the positive. So I want to put an extra water storage down. And then we'll need to start thinking about food. So I'm drinking the coffee as we're talking. Um, I've depleted that already. Okay. 
bit of work area. Anything else around? That's a bit down there. Julio. Um, space wise for housing, we've got zero space. So I do need to get in another tent as well. We'll let the gear get out of the way. So that's a tent I want to add on. And then I also want to add on a water storage. We then need to think about a skinner or a hunter. And what else? We need to think about something else. Firewood at some point. Looking across the top. Yeah. There is, there is another one, I'm sure. Uh, definitely a skinner. Plastic. Would love a second plastic, please. Oh, shit, I tell you what I haven't got. Oh, I need to take one out of somewhere else. Do need to take one out of somewhere else because... Yeah, I'm going to take one out of fishing for now. Put him in the medical tent because I have somebody injured. Yeah, so he's going to get fixed now. Just robbing Peter to pay Paul. We may get a group of survivors at the gates if we can get this finished. Don't think specialists can pick up from the air. Uh, Colonists are poisoned. But I will get them to pick some berries up for now. And you can pick some berries up. Just so they've got some food coming in still to cover that fisherman. Right, colonists is poisoned. <clears throat> it's a Lirius colonist carrying the camp. No. Let's just heal them. Yep, pause if you want to read it, but he's safe. Right, we need some peeps. How many kids have we got? Five. Waiting for them to turn to adults. Oh, you're having a giraffe. Great. Brutal. Brutal, brutal. Why we're in the middle of doing the gate. The biggest project we've done up to now. Is the wood depleted? Is it like okay? Berries is depleted. Did I, did I miss that? Let me get the berries and the wood's depleted again. Is that no? He is still collected somewhere. Yeah, it's got a bit there. Okay, zero days to a meteor shower. do we're getting these out on the map to help us get some extra stuff in fishery has been damaged of course it has of course it has of course it has <laughs> no I've got food I'll let you read it. I'm going to put the fire out. Yeah. Repair with 10 plastic. I cannot not repair it. Right. These need 19 more. So here's the meteors. Buildings are going to take some serious hits. Don't have a speed too, so I can't really see them coming in. Boom, boom. I think they must be missing us at the minute. The meteor shower. Oh, wow. That's just nearly wiped out what I'd already asked for repairs. Yep, yeah, that's just totally blew up. On. Unbelievable. We're weird. We're not going to put that down while there's a meteor storm going on. Um, 
Right, everything's there for that. I'll wait until they finish that. And then we'll get the uh get the fishing beer put back in. Ninety-five. Ninety-five. Okay. Waiting for the gate. Yay! Into the world. Please that we've done that. First episode. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, and a group of survivors at the gate. Right, let's see what they've got. Here they come, little peeps. And we've got a fighter. Carambit. Okay, plenty of stuff. Accept. Right, issue. Whoa, hold well on, there's a red one in there. No. Housing. I need space for the new peeps. Just turn it around. Uh, one. Two. Now I haven't put down an emergency shelter. I haven't done that on purpose. For the simple reason that it's all about kind of morale and happiness. Um, I don't want to have them huge cramped things. All these need upgrading to start with. So I think three should cover us. I'll build them. I'm going to leave a fighter at home. So she's 25 damage. He's 20 damage. So she's going to go at the world map. And Scavenger's going to go at the world map. Should just have enough if these guys get these built. 11 colonists are home. Yeah, I'll check on that again. So might, might be we need more. So, uh, what are you? Scavenger. Research. I desperately, desperately need research. Right there. Um, we're lowest on clothes for now. You can go there. They might as well pick this stuff up before they start heading out uh, to check stuff out. Milestones. We've got the into the world. Okay, let's go. And we've also got a quest. Burglar Paranoia. Uh, pause if you want to read it, guys. But basically, we need to check a shop. I think I'm also going to need another house, you know. And then we're going to need a burner. Um, plastic is still my issue. I'm going to take a chance and chuck down another plastics. Recycler. And I'm going to shove it up at this end. Let them work on them. Okay, hostiles in the colony defend your people. Where is Fritz? Know where he is fighting. Oh, here. Fritz, Fritz, over there. Trying to send them all over. We could have hit the alarm. There is a, the new alarm thing. Um, but it affects their... Affects the morale again. Just making Fritz run all our... Yay! Victory! Okay, so again, loads of stuff needs repairing. Um, job wise w w people's going to go back and work in that pier at some point and um, what else do I need I need to think ahead a little bit for a burner to take care of our housing and get up as far as I can yeah specialists are ready As the end timer, stick with it a bit. Got some clothes well done. Uh, you can go and get some tools now. And they're all still happy. Right, research. My unhappiest thing is shelter. So, research. 
What do I need? Long beds. Yeah, we'll get that one done first. Got to try and make them happy. Okay, so that's the recycler, the second one, isn't it? Now, put somebody else in. Move work area. Where's the plastic? Okay, that should help having two to give us more plastic to make what we're asking them to make. Five colonists are irradiated. That's not the best. Two of two. I need gain. We'll need to do this in the future at some point anyway. So I'm just going to put in the medical tents. That area will get cleaned out. We'll put the medical tents across here. Otherwise we're going to lose our peeps. That all works so hard to get. Commotion in the camp. Someone's yelling inside a tent. <clears throat> right. Suddenly muffled cries for help start echoing from one of the shelters. Inside a large hall is opened up on the ground, swallowing the poor colonist. The shelter was apparently built on top of a small sinkhole. A makeshift ladder should help the colonists out without injury. Yeah, build them a ladder. There you go, happiness. But they are still unhappy. Homelessness and radiation sickness. Right, I've got a few people. I'm going to build that next. Yeah. I think something else happened there. Right, bunk beds have been finished, so we can upgrade these, but we'll not be doing it now. And um, what else do we need? Research is done. I'm still going to go across into here to try and get better housing, because that seems to be what they're most paid off with. Right, ragged people are gathering outside the gates. Jesus wept. Okay, there's a weary woman at the front. Could you spare a little food? Yeah, we'll give them a little food because we've got 211. Then we'll go. There you are. We've done the right thing. Come on, peeps. The radiation going at the same time. We need to get this other medical center up. Come on, come on, come on. I think we might have had... Oh, we've got some iodine pills. So it will help them if it can get them in there. Come on, come on. Build it. Save my people. Are they in? Yay! Okay. <clears throat> so we've only got a couple of people irradiated. We've asked for a second. And um, plastics, which is cool. And we're finished researching education. Let's just check the happiness. Poor shelter is still bad. So, research-wise, I want to get into these. What is it? Shanties and tenements. Still must be heated. But can you upgrade these? But you cannot. I honestly can't remember. And specialists, we'll check these off, guys, and then we'll call it. Yeah. So she's got some tools and some money. And I'm going to send her down into this quest. And the scouting's changed as well. And now you can't, you know, you would normally, like, put them next to it and then open it straight up. Depend on if they are a scout or whatever specialist they are. Depends how long it takes for them to um, open up the area. Um, let's just make sure everybody's happy. Tents are done. <clears throat> now, I'm, I'm going to wait to see. It's 15 fibre and 15 planks to upgrade these. I'm going to wait to see what happens when we do eventually get that. Ammo. How long will it take us to get the science points? We need to start researching. Space-wise, I've only got space for one person and everything's been built. Got a few bits and bobs coming in. 
I haven't done a skinner yet, have I? Call him a skinner, it's a trapper. And see him again. Let's just see if I can squeeze him in there. No, I'll put him in this side. Maybe that side. We'll get a trapper down. That'll give us more food. And I didn't forget, I still want to build another water carrier. Clean water storage. And there was something new there in medicinal. We can build a school. Okay, but we'll need metal for that. And we'll need to research to get metal. So if you look in research... I think it's one of these ones. There, we need to research metal scavenging. Centralize repairs. There's a lot of stuff we need, but <clears throat> I'm quite happy for now. So I will pause it here. So the guys are out on the world map. We've done that. We're working towards getting better housing for them because, as you can see on the new happiness chart, um, poor shelter is 16 and slept on the ground is 8. So if I can get a tenement style building. Um, I'm hoping it'll be upgrades, otherwise I'll be knocking them down and rebuilding, but so be it. We've got to keep them happy. Um, there's no point in being like super efficient and then being unhappy. Um, but yeah, I think we've done all right. We've covered all the bases. We've got what we need coming in. We're working on getting more water storage for the next kind of issue that we have. We've got berries and fish in stock, so they're going to run out. So I'd like to get a farm done as well, because the berries are not going to last forever. And we are working currently on a Skinner. So there you go, guys. Uh, first episode of the Platinum Update. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you have, hit the like button, consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.